Hey, what is up guys? It is Goose Roka here, and today I'm going to be attempting... <sighs> Sorry, it's hard to say. I'm, I'm, I'm really nervous. I'm going to be attempting a world record. So, recently in the news, we've been talking a lot about how hard it is to wear a mask, and, you know, I really thought about it, and given these trying times that we're going through, and all the horrible things that we've been asked to do, like cover our faces, not touch our faces. It's been very difficult for me, and I really wanted to show both myself and others how we can triumph. So in this video, I will be attempting the world record by wearing a mask for 15 minutes. I'll be wearing this black mask that I got from Amazon, the link in the description. It is a certified support your trillionaires black mask, hand woven, beautiful, sculpts your face amazingly, but of course it's very difficult to breathe. But without any further ado, I will be timing it with my phone. Uh, here we go, I have a timer, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a timer set up for 15 minutes, at which point we will hear an alarm and uh, we can do this together. I, I challenge you to try this yourself. Maybe you can beat my record. And uh, here we go. As soon as I have placed on the mask, I will start the timer and we will do this together, guys. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Gotta get all these nerves out. Okay. <sighs> sorry, sorry. I just don't know if I'll be able to breathe through this thing. Maybe. I you know, if if I die, you know, master killing people, you know. <sighs> Tell my parents I love them. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, okay, okay. Let's we can start the timer. We can start the timer. Uh, okay. Go. Okay. So. Sorry about that, I put my mic. Um, this is this is bad. We are approximately 10 seconds in and I'm already starting to hyperventilate, but uh, it's okay, we can power through. We, oh man, I shouldn't be touching my face, that's terrible, I mean, so hard. Um, what is it that we can do together to help this pass this time? I mean, it's quarantine, I can do whatever I want. Um, should I uh, play video games? Should I uh, clean my room? Should I play with my hair? My beautiful, beautiful hair. It's just so many choices. I, 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 I wish that I knew where I am in life right now so that I can put all these things together and truly accomplish something. And the fact that right now, we are stuck indoors, being forced to spend time with our loved ones. I mean, it's the worst thing ever. I mean, I, I, I understand perfectly why people are struggling so bad just to cover their faces, limit their time outside, and just be indoors. I mean, delivery services have never been easier to use. You have your DoorDash, your Postmates. If you live in the South, you got Waiter. Waiter's very good, by the way, sponsor me. Uh, you got your uh, Uber Eats. You got your Domino's. You got your Papa John's. You got your Little Caesars now. Little Caesars now delivers. I mean, think about it. You have so many choices, and what can we do? It's it's ridiculous the way that we are forced to make choices for ourselves right now where the way that we live is being forced out of us and we are made to make decisions that exist outside the realm of our general reality. <sighs> Sorry, it's getting hard to breathe in here. I, I don't know what I'll be able to do. Um, okay, slow my breathing, slow, slow. Oh, this reminds me. 
avatar. You know, I could be. I've always wanted to be a waterbender. Like, you know, you got your earth, fire, earth. Earth, fire, water, and air. God damn, I can't speak. Uh, and, like, everyone has, like, their preference. All your edgelords want to be firebender. And all your, like... I am beautiful and perfect. And I will be the good child. Want to be airbenders. But, like, I feel like ultimately the best two are water and earth. Because, like, Earthbenders, you pretty much have control over anywhere you go unless you fly. Which, like, if you can control the Earth beneath you, why would you fly? I mean, I'm sure, like, even in the series, you know, there's reasons why they have to fly. But, like, let's imagine this is, like, a reality situation. Like, my mask is falling off. I need to adjust it. I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk having to lose this record just like four minutes in. So like I had to adjust. Adjustments are perfectly within the confines of this challenge. Now, like as I was saying, in the world of Avatar, there are four elements. And people who want to be firebenders and airbenders don't make sense to me. Like fire, yeah, it's cool and all, but like, Unless you like follow like the core logic and you become a lightning bender and you start working at a power plant, like what practical use do you have for that? Now with water, you can heal people, which is just, you know, it's a good thing to do. I mean, you could heal the virus. Think about that. You could literally put your hands on people, be like, and fix the problem. And then you wouldn't have to wear a mask. You know what? I'm just realizing this now. We need to start a Karen's for Waterbenders club. Every Karen you know, you need to proselytize to them and tell them about the magic of being a waterbender. And then they'll be so taken back by the fact that they can stop using their essential oils and start using the magic in the very thing that gives us all life, water. In addition, if you're a waterbender, you never have to drink a hot drink again, unless you want to. But like, have, have you ever had the thing where you know you buy yourself a drink at a store, and it's like kind of like lukewarm? Well, like most every drink, like that I can think of, like Coke, Sprite, coffee, water, tea, etc., has some water in it. And as a result, you can freeze that shit. You can freeze it. You can be the change you want to see in the world by being a waterbender. Now, being an earthbender, fantastic. You can look cool. And really, is there anything better than that? I mean, if you like go out and you learn how to metal bend, now that like, you could basically become Spider-Man at that point. Be like cha 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 cha. But if we're if we're really coming together in this moment, in this time, these trying times of the virus pandemic and the quarantine, it's very important that we remember that together we can accomplish anything. We are collectively, collectively, and I need you to listen to me very closely and I'll explain for those who do not understand. We are collectively the leading cast of a shonen anime. Now, for those uninformed, what is shonen anime? Shonen anime is is like the most popular form of anime. It's a genre. Uh, shonen, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but from my understanding, it means like young boy, and it's like your and, and like it's marketed towards young boys. So you got your One Pieces, your Naruto's, your Bleaches, your Dragon Balls, your Hunter X Hunters, all those technically Hunter Hunter, blah blah blah. Those things together are known as shonen anime. All of those particularly are from a magazine called Weekly Shonen Jump. Anyways, my point is, there is a, there are many tropes slash cliches slash whatever you want to call them from that genre of anime. And one of those, which is very prominent and it serves a very important purpose, is that all shonen heroes have a crew around them that help them push themselves towards their dreams. Now, you could, you know, look past this and just be like, blah, 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 every story is the same. Or you could do what I have done 
and really be inspired by the fact that it teaches a message of togetherness, it teaches the message of coming together as one and feeling like with without each other, we are nothing, but together as a society, which we live in, we live in a society, as a society, we can become the very thing that we need for right now. We must stay indoors together. We must communicate together. We must entertain ourselves together, but apart. And that's the part that I think is very difficult for people. Together, yet apart. Now, you would think that millennials, Gen X, and, you know, Zoomers would have a very easy time with that, given that for most of our lives, we've had some form of the internet to communicate with. And we've done it. And yet, it's those very people that seem to be very split down the middle as to what to do. And I personally believe very strongly in the act of shaming your friends into doing what's right. Because if you can't tell your friends, yo, you're being a jackass, stay indoors, wear a mask, what, what purpose can you accomplish? If you can't talk to your friends, like real talk, what value does that relationship have? Now, time to call out the Karens. Now, Karen is apparently be has apparently become a controversial term. Now, let me be very clear. What is a Karen? A Karen, and what is not a Karen? A Karen is not a person named Karen. A Karen is an idea. It is a title. It is a title bestowed upon those people in the world who are entitled beyond reproach. Those people who feel like they deserve things for their mere existence that they have earned. But here's the thing, Karens. You do not owe the world anything, and the world also ain't owe you shit. So, when you go out into the world and you decide, I have this beautiful face and I'm going to show it with the world, and then you get coughed on, that's your fucking fault. You are the very problem with this society, this entitlement that leads you to believe that you know better than the top scientists in the world. You to believe that there is a multi-international agenda to keep you from something. Like I've heard everything from like, to vaccinate you, because apparently vaccines are bad all of a sudden, even though we've had decades upon decades, if not longer, of vaccines helping people. It could be to keep you from your essential oils, don't do jack shit! It could be to get Trump not elected. I don't fucking, like honestly, that's the one that bugs me the most. Cause like, why would the rest of the world fake a virus for the sole purpose of affecting American politics? Now that I will never understand. So, now that we've come together and we're reaching the 14 minute mark of this video, which leads me to think we're about 13 minutes in. I would want to be shocked by the time that this alarm goes off because I am striving for success here, just like we should as a society. And now that we find ourselves in this situation, now that you've come this far into this video, now that we know each other to this degree, it is time to take a step back and remember that not all of us will agree on everything. Not all of us are likely to want the same things for each other. And not all of us are going to care. But to do the bare, the bare minimum, to live, in a, like, to live in a group of people, whether we care about them or not, be selfish, okay? If you have to, if you have to think about it this way, be fucking selfish. You are less likely to get sick if you're wearing a mask. Now, masks mostly protect other people from you. And since we don't know who has what, it's better for everybody to wear a mask. 
because some people have the virus and aren't and, 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 and are contagious but aren't symptomatic, and that's fine. You are less likely to get sick if you're wearing a mask because the way masks work is that if everyone wears a mask, there's a very small chance that anyone will get sick. There is a chance that somebody will get sick, but, 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 if you go out into the world and you are not wearing a mask, you have a higher chance of getting sick. You have an even higher chance of spreading said sickness. And you have a higher propensity to make this whole problem endure longer. So if you really, really, really just want to go out and do all your care and shit, just for a minute, just for a minute, think about yourself. Invest in your own future. Invest in your future care and dumb. Wear a mask to support all Karens. And right now, I really want to re remind us all that we all have a Karen in our life that we unfortunately have to love. And if we can convince said Karen to just... <sighs> I hate to say this. I, I, I really, like, it's, it's struggling with me. If we can convince the Karens in our lives, just Karen slightly differently, just convince them that it's in their own best interest because that's ultimately what all they care about. All they care about. Ba bum ching. Uh, they will be able to sustain their Karen empire just a little bit longer. So, what have we learned here? Just to summarize, Karen suck. However, Karens are self-entitled brats. So, to appeal to Karens, we must appeal to that very nature within them. Don't tell them they're wrong. Don't tell them they're dumb. Don't tell them to wear a mask. Make it seem like the very thing that would make them stand out as a self-entitled 40-year-old br- Oh my god, we made it! Guys, I just want to thank you for breaking this world record with me. I, I challenge you to do the same. And uh, we'll see. I might have to attempt this record again. I'm sure someone will beat me soon. It is not that difficult to wear a fucking mask. So put that shit on. Uh, yeah. And have a wonderful day. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>